Hi, my name's Andrew, I'm one of the final year medical students. Can I just check your name and date of birth, please? Sure, it's James, 13th of December, 1989. Nice to meet you, James. Today I've been asked to examine your spine. This will firstly involve me watching you walk, uh, and then I'll look at the spine, feel down the spine for any pain, and then we'll do some movements as well. Would that be okay? That sounds fine. Are you in any pain at all before we start? No. Okay, we can start the examination. Okay, I'm just going to inspect you walking. Could you just walk to the end of the room and back for me? I'm now going to feel down your spine, James. Do let me know if there's any pain at all. Do you mind just turning to face the wall behind you? That's great, you can turn back around. We're just going to assess some movements now. First of all, could you look up at the ceiling for me? And look down at your toes. That's great. Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. That's great. And take your right ear to your right shoulder and left ear to your left shoulder. That's brilliant. Now, James, if you could just bend over and touch your toes. Brilliant, and all the way back up. And now with your right hand, reach down your right leg as far as possible. And the same on the other side, please, James. Fantastic. And now lean backwards as far as you're comfortably able to. And forwards. If you can now cross your arms for me and turn your body round to the right as far as you can and to the left as far as you can. Now back to the middle. I'm just going to feel your lower spine now. And now I'm just going to mark your skin with some pen. And now bend forward and touch your toes. I'm now going to lift each leg up straight. Do let me know if you get any pain in your back or down your leg. And the same on the other side. I'm now going to lift each leg. Do let me know if you have any pain at all. Okay, James, that completes the examination. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Today I performed a spine exam on James, a 27-year-old male. James had a normal gait with no obvious deformities on inspection. On palpation, there was no tenderness of the spine or the paraspinal muscles, and he had a full range of movements. This was a normal spine exam. To complete my examination, I'd like to do a neurovascular assessment of the upper and lower limbs and review any available imaging 